Do you want to know exactly how to grow your health coaching business depending upon where you are right now? Well, that's what I want to walk you through in this training. Right here on the screen is what I have called the health printer way. I'm going to show you the two scenarios, the two pathways that will show you exactly what to do. If you're making less than 5K per month right now, I'm going to show you what to do and focus on there. And if you're making more than 5 to 10K per month, I'm going to show you exactly how to build your business from that point forward. So stick with me over the next couple minutes. I promise you this will be one of the most useful and valuable trainings you have ever watched. If you want more clarity, on exactly what to do for your situation, this is for you. Just in case you don't know me, my name is Uriel Kim. I'm the CEO and founder of Healthpreneur. We are the industry leader in helping health professionals and coaches scale their businesses online without the grind. And with our proven systems and pathways, we've helped our clients, more than 1,300 of them now, generate more than $217 million in their businesses. But before all that started, I actually ran my own health and fitness company online for more than 13 years. I started back in 2005. Before that, I was a overworked, underpaid personal trainer. I was burnt out and I knew Knew that coming online was the path to where I wanted to go of helping more people and, and building a better quality of life for myself. But when I started in 2005, I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't have a roadmap like this. And if you're in that position where you're just starting out, I promise you this will be a very good use of your time. Because I went through three and a half years of living on poverty line income because I had no roadmap. I had no strategy. I was doing all sorts of things and nothing was working. And I don't want you to go through that same path. Now also, I was able to eventually grow that business to multiple sectors and figures. I became a New York Times bestseller. I was on shows like Dr. Oz and The Doctors and very popular podcast. We helped half a million people to better health. And at that point, I started reaching new levels of our business and with that came new challenges. And when we started Healthpreneur, we were able to go from zero to more than a million dollars in just seven weeks using the second path I'm going to show you here. So if you're further along, you're going to want to stick around. If you're just starting out, well, that's what we're going to get started with. And once again, my goal here is to give you the exact roadmap to help your specific situation. And again, if you like what you see and you'd like to go a little bit deeper and have us help you install these systems into your business, along with our weekly and daily coaching to help you implement faster, to stay on track and get better results, then there'll be a link or a button below this video that will take you to that next step. We can book in a call to speak with our team if you'd like. But aside from that, let's dive right into the training. Let's start off with if you're at the point where you're just starting out, you're not quite generating revenue. And the reason I wanna start there is because it's important to do the right things at the right time. Not all strategies are for everyone at different points, right? You have to understand what strategy is gonna make the most sense for where you're at. So with that said, let's dive into path number one, which is if you're under 5K in revenue, and let's dive into that. So we're gonna start off by looking at what to do if you are making less than $5,000 per month in your coaching business. And I'm gonna show you a really simple framework to just give you a mnemonic here. So if we look at attract, convert, and deliver, here's what we're gonna kind of look through. And obviously if we refer back to the health printer way roadmap, uh, this will kind of visually map out some of what I'm about to share with you. But basically in your business, there are, there are a couple of things. We have to attract leads, we have to convert them into paying clients, then we have to deliver amazing results. So what is that specifically look like if you're just starting out or if you're not making more than 5,000 per month, well, here's the reality is that you don't have the luxury of paying for traffic, right? You have to work in the attract phase. And I'm gonna call this, for the lack of a better term, the daily hustle. Because the reality is like, you don't have the luxury of leverage, right? You probably have more time than you have money at this moment. And what that means is that you have to use your manual effort and time to put out content, post on social media, and do whatever you have to do manually efforting your way to get to beyond 5K per month. Now, I know that might sound somewhat disappointing to you, and obviously I'm a huge fan of leverage, but the reality is that if you don't have the necessary resources to invest in paid traffic or leveraged ways of growing your business, what other option do you have? So if you're starting out or if you're not where you need to be above 5,000 a month, you gotta start off by posting on social media. So what does that look like? Obviously there's different platforms. You got Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, the whole bit. You gotta find whatever's gonna work best for you. I'm just gonna share what's worked for me and a lot of our clients, which tends to be focused on Instagram. It's still one of the biggest platforms. The reason I like Instagram is because not only is it a great place to share your thought leadership, but also it has an inherent 
messaging platform, which is very, very important for moving conversations just out of the content into actually DMs and having a conversation with potential leads who could become clients. So what does the daily process look like if you're at this phase? So here's the thing, on a daily basis, you have to post at least once. So on your feed, let's talk about Instagram. On your feed, you should be posting some type of thought leadership. Now, Instagram, in case you haven't recognized, is largely giving more reach to reels. So if you can create video content in vertical format, it doesn't need to be beautiful, whatever, just something to share your thought leadership and connect with your audience is super, super important. Now with our social authority selling system, basically what we map out is exactly what to post on every specific day so you're not having to think about this. And then we use AI powered technology to help you create that content literally at the click of a button. So I can talk a little more about that afterwards, but I wanna give you the framework for now to help you get started. The key is that you have to post in the feed at least once a day. Second, and more importantly, is actually posting in stories. The head of Instagram has repeatedly said over the past couple months that stories and reels are where the traction and growth is on Instagram. So if you're in your stories, the easiest thing to do is post three to five stories per day. And literally, if I'm shooting, watch this, I'm gonna shoot a story right now of me shooting this video. And I'm sharing this with you because the key to stories is documenting your process, show the work. So right here, I'm just gonna say, hey guys, what's going on, Yuri here. I'm actually just shooting a video right now for an upcoming video. I hope you enjoy this. I just wanna give you a bit of behind the scenes. Have an amazing day, I'll talk to you soon. So something as simple as that, can be posted on your Instagram stories. And what that's gonna allow you to do is it just brings people into your world a little bit more. So if you're working out, if you're eating, if you're hanging out with the kids, whatever it might be. Now you might be saying, Yuri, I don't wanna document my life. I don't wanna share stuff on social media. And I get that. But the flip side is you're not gonna grow your business or your revenue if you don't do this stuff because what else are you going to do? I've been at this game for a long time, almost 20 years now. And you have the freeway, and the paid way. And if you're not in the position to use the paid way because you don't have the skills, experience, or risk tolerance or guidance, then you have to start with your time and effort, okay? So the key though is being able to put a content out there that actually connects with people because I see a lot of people putting out content that does nothing. And so obviously you don't wanna waste your time spending years creating content no one ever sees and living on your, on your phone. But there's a moment in time at this stage where you are right now where it is important to be putting out content, starting to get in front of people in different ways, shapes or forms. And that could be on Instagram, that can be inside of Facebook groups, that can be doing whatever you need to do to get yourself seen. The second thing you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna consider on C with this free path of attracting leads is you have to have some type of lead magnet that you can put in your Instagram profile bio or, or anywhere on social media for that matter. Because it's not just about having followers, you have to bring people into your email list. So really simply in your Instagram bio, you'll have a link. That link should direct people to some form of an opt-in page. Could be opting in to watch a webinar, like if it's in our case, can be a lead magnet, it can be whatever it is you want, but it should be ideally not a whole link tree of 20 different links, one link to an opt-in page, get the person from social media onto your email list because that email list becomes the biggest asset you can build for the future of your business. I can promise you this, we have 3X the profitability of our business in the past 12 months just from our email list, okay? And we're not a unicorn. Like every single business has massive opportunities in their email list, but you have to have an email list and you have to email them on a consistent basis. What I mean by consistent, once, twice, maybe three times a week, okay? But you have to capture those emails from social media onto an email list, cool? So just as a recap, in terms of the attract phase on where we're at right here is we have to be posting on social on a daily basis. Do you have to post on every single social network? No, choose one, double down on it and just put out content. Don't worry about making it the best in terms of like production value. Just put yourself out there, add value, be useful to people. Post in stories several times a day, document your journey, show the process, show behind the scenes, engage people, okay? Because what's gonna happen is from those two things, we're gonna move people into the next phase, which is gonna be convert, which we'll talk about in a second. But before we get there, we have to have a link that we can use in the bio and or we can use as a call out in some of our stories to get people to opt in to join the email list. And one more important thing about your email list, no one cares about your newsletter. No one cares about opting into hearing from you. Think about it from their perspective. Like what's something you can give them that's gonna give them the win to a specific problem. That should be your lead magnet, whether that's a webinar, whether it's a lead magnet, a PDF, cheat sheet, whatever. 
It's not about join my email list. No one cares about that. Give them what they want. Cool. And then the last thing I want to mention on the, on the attract phase here is that from a mindset perspective, it's going to take time and it's going to take effort and you just have to deal with it because what's the alternative? You have no alternative, right? And you have to do this stuff. Like I would love to know from you, if you are at this phase, phase of your business, what else are you going to do? Right? Because the reality is there's only so much you can do if you have no revenue coming in. What you lack in money, you have to make up in volume and efforts. And that that's important to recognize that it's a season of your business. It's not going to be for the lifetime of your business. But at where you are right now, if you're in this phase, you just have to recognize that it's going to take daily effort. It's going to take volume and it's going to take time. Deal with it and take a long-term perspective on this. All right, so we've talked about the attract phase with respect to, you know, kind of the starting points of your journey. Now, what happens when we start having people that are somewhat interested in working with you? Well, we move on to the convert phase, which I am moving into this yellow circle over here. So here, think about this. You're at this phase if you don't have a tremendous amount of experience, if you don't have a huge track record of paying clients, because if you did, you'd be better off financially. At this point in time, my recommendation is that you need proof of concept. You need product market fit. And honestly, you have nothing to lose other than a little bit of your time. So my recommendation for your first five to 10 clients is you offer to work with them for free. That's right. You're not going to ask them for any money. And the reason for this is because you don't have the luxury or positioning to do so. So it's a lot easier just to get five or 10 people to work with you totally free in exchange for testimonials you can then later use in your marketing. So what I'm going to do as well is I'm going to talk about what's the best way of doing that. And I'm going to give you a really simple script on this video right in the moment of how to do that. Okay, so I call this the trade. And what you're going to do is, again, based on if you're following our social our social authority selling system, we've got different types of posts, whether it's a signature story post, a motivation post, a kryptonite post, a hand raise, a dog whistle post, which in this case would be this. And if you don't know what that means, don't worry, I'm not going to go into depth of all that strategy here. But I want you to understand that basically when you are making an ask of your audience, what you're inviting them to is basically just saying, raise your hand if you're interested in working with me for free. Okay, so I'm going to read you word for word what to use as your social post. So this can go up as a Facebook post. This can be put up as an Instagram post on your feed, in your stories, everywhere, okay? So insert target market. Moms who want to lose weight, I might or I may have something of interest to you. I'm currently doing some market research for a new program I'm launching and looking to do a little value trade. So see what we just did there? It's like I'm positioning, I'm, I'm, I'm looking to build some research for this program I'm about to launch in a bit. To the right people, here's my offer. Insert what you can help them with in about four weeks. So if you say, you know, I'm going to work with you over the next four weeks, we're going to help you lose up to 10 pounds of baby weight or whatever it is, whatever those outcomes might be or how you can get them closer there, that's what you would put in there. After, insert your credibility. So this is where you got to think about this. Like, well, I don't have any experience and I'm looking to get a couple clients. Don't say that, okay? After having gone through school and worked with a lot of people, blah, 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 you know, here's what I've noticed. But again, in my case, I can use the example of like, let's just say I came out of school fresh. Like I had no experience at this point. I may say something to the effect of, you know, after having graduated summa cum laude from the University of Toronto and having worked with hundreds of case studies through my program, I'm, you know, I want to see this stuff in real world action, which is why I think I can really be of service to you. Okay, so something along those lines. There is nothing for sale. I simply want to understand some of the biggest challenges you're having around, let's say, losing the baby weight, help you overcome as many of them as we can in four weeks, and ultimately further my experience as a insert the type of coach you are. In exchange, all I ask is for a video testimonial after our work together so I can continue to expand my services to others. Okay, so that's that's like, what's the catch here, right? All this, so I make sure this new program actually solves the most pressing problems. That's it. I'm only looking for, let's say, five to seven new moms. So this is for you if, and then you would insert three to five of your perfect client criteria. So you have to be between the ages of this and this, and you know you just have to have a given birth in the past six months or whatever those might be. There's no catch and no cost, just a mutually beneficial exchange where you'll insert outcome over the next four weeks. If that sounds good, then drop the word trade below and I'll DM you the details with next steps, cool? So that is what I would recommend you use in terms of getting your first initial couple clients. And the reality is that you'll have 
again, you know, if you've got no followers, no one's going to respond. But if you're starting to build up your following and you're getting people engaging on your post, if you're following the kind of the content strategy that we talk about in our social authority selling system, then you will get more people engaging on your stuff. And when I'm not saying you post this right away, like this is going to be, you know, give it a couple of weeks before you do this, like build a little bit of momentum, give, 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 and then make a small ask. And that ask is again, zero risk to the prospect. So that again, you have to take the mindset here of going slow to go fast. You don't have the luxury of charging premium prices at this stage of the game, right? I mean, you can go for it, but the reality is like, it's just so much easier if you get a couple people in for free, work with them, transform their lives in some way, shape or form, get some social proof, that's gonna build your confidence. And now as you step further into the growth of your business, you will have more confidence to then start charging above and beyond that. So two things here, obviously you're not in the business to give away free coaching for the rest of your life. So there's two things. Number one, after you've worked with your first five to 10 clients, guess what happens after those first four weeks? Hey Yuri, this has been awesome. Where do we go from here? Well, Susie, that's a great question. I'm happy you asked because if you want to continue working together, here's what we can do. So it's a really nice segue to give people, especially in a world where there's a lot of uncertainty and skepticism, you're giving people a taste for free of what it's like to work with you. So you can make them a special offer to keep working with you for the next couple months for you know the next level of their outcome that they're looking for. And I would suggest, you know, again, we're looking at starting to move into premium pricing, but we don't need to, we don't need to go to the high, high end of the spectrum. So again, it depends on your confidence and conviction. I would recommend if you can start charging anywhere in the neighborhood of one to three thousand dollars after that first five to ten clients, that's a big win, right? Because if you think even if it's a thousand dollars a client, and let's just say you're working with them for a 12 week stint of time. And to be honest, initially we'll talk about delivery in a second. Uh, it may not be as leveraged as you want. So you might still be trading some time for money, but the goal is that we're starting to build momentum and starting to build traction. So those first five to 10 clients, let's say that half of them said yes to continuing with you. And of the 10 that you worked with for free, five said yes to continuing and you only charged them $1,000 for 12 weeks, which is nothing. Right there, you just made $5,000, right? Now we wanna continue that trend on a monthly basis. So it'd be better like if you charge two, right? Because then you'd make $10,000. Or if you charge three, it'd be $15,000. So the idea here is like, you wanna use those existing assets that you have, right? The free clients in this case, and then simply move them into the next offer, right? Which is again, gonna be one, two or $3,000 for a 12 week program or less to help them solve the next problem if you will or achieve that ultimate outcome to a much greater extent. So outside of those first 10 or so people, then you have all this social proof. You have video testimonials. You can plop this stuff into your, your social stuff, right? So your IG feeds, your IG stories, et cetera. And every single time you do, you can simply have a call to action. Be like, hey, want to be in my next success story? DM me coaching and we can see if this would be a good fit. Because now you have proof that you can leverage to show that other people are getting results with your help. And that's gonna give confidence that other people like them could possibly get the same results like they have. So that's kind of how that flywheel is gonna work between the conversion piece of moving people from followers into paying clients and a process we use for this. So I thought obviously the trade-off is the post there, but there's a little bit of a process beyond that, right? We call this the conversational close and beyond those first five to 10 free clients, the easiest way to enroll clients, especially in the neighborhood of one or $2,000 is gonna be mostly in the DM. So you don't have to get on sales calls with individuals if you're selling anything under $2,000 Typically, if you know how to have a conversation over DM with someone, you can simply get to the point where here's the link and they can drop in their payment information and you're all set to go. There's a right way of doing that and a not so right way of doing that. But I just want to let you know that this is a process we call the conversational close and it's the conversion piece, moving people from your content and social value into, well, let's talk about this in the DMs or by email to see if the next steps make sense. From there, we move into, okay, cool, let's let's do this, Jerry, I'm in, awesome, cool. So the final piece is the deliver. As you may or may not know, I'm a big fan of working smarter, not harder. But again, contextually, there's a time and place for everything. And right now, there's a time for working a little bit harder. So on the deliver side, when you have those first five to 10 clients, or let's say a couple after that, that you're actually getting them to pay you for your work, I would recommend you work with your clients one on one. And the reason for that is number one is you will get much better as a coach. You will get much better feedback from your clients. You'll see what's coming up over and over again, where you're repeating yourself a thousand times and how you can start to correct 
curriculumize, productize, if you will, your service. Single target market, everyone's got the same issue, you're working with them more or less along the same kind of plan, and this becomes how you help people. As you move into scaling your business over time, part of what you wanna do is start to productize your service. But it's really helpful if you have experience working one-on-one -on -one with clients as a starting point because you can spend the time with them. You can get the language out of their, out of their mouth. You can see exactly what they're telling you where they're getting stuck, how they're showing up, and you have really a really good pulse on those clients, maybe to a greater degree than you would if you had 50 clients in a group program where you don't have as much of a pulse on every single person. So initially, if we refer back to the health for way, if we look at this initial process, if you're under 5K, we're looking at the social authority mm -hmm. selling system to really add value and build your presence online, mostly on social media because that's where everyone is. We move people through mm -hmm. the conversational close into the DMs or email to see if they're a good fit for either working with you for free for those initial number of people or one to three thousand dollars for those first paying clients after that initial five to ten free people cohort and again as you can see we're looking at one-on-one -on -one as the main delivery mechanism initially okay remember you're not going to do one-on-one -on -one forever and i don't recommend doing one-on-one -on -one forever because it's going to lead to burnout and in a service-based business it's the biggest bottleneck delivery is the biggest bottleneck and you know whether you're a therapist or a trainer or a chiropractor or a naturopath or a health coach i spent seven years doing one-on-one -on -one work in person with people okay but the good thing about doing that is it gave me a tremendous amount of confidence in my ability to technically help people get where they want to go in terms of their health, fitness, et cetera. So it's a good starting point. And just remember that I don't recommend you stay there forever. The only time in the grand scheme of things that I think one-on-one -on -one has its place outside of more of a leverage group coaching format is if you're dealing with a deep, emotional, traumatic work, if that's what you do. Like, I mean, maybe that's not suitable for a group format, but there are always ways. You know, we've helped over 1,300 health practitioners and coaches, and most of them have moved from one-on-one -on -one into group as they've scaled their business. And in most cases, like there's really not a single situation where I've seen one-on-one -on -one to produce better results or in which case it's more merited than something else other than deep traumatic emotional work. So just understand that we're doing the one-on-one -on -one for a very short amount of time for that first, you know, dozen or so clients just, or if you, or more if you want, just to build the confidence, just to get like really a, a strong pulse on where people are at, where they're getting stuck and what you are repeating yourself saying over and over and over again, you're gonna get sick of it. And that's a good thing because that becomes the foundation for building up the curriculum, which is what we'll do in the next stage. So to finish off in this part here, the key is as you're working with your clients one-on-one, -on -one, you wanna be writing down all the frequently asked questions. The key here is to document your process, not to share this publicly, but for your own internal uh, knowledge. You wanna document all the frequently asked questions, what's coming up. You wanna document repeatable processes. What are you doing over and over again that you can start to document and start to capture? And number three is you wanna document and pinpoint where your clients are getting stuck. What's working, what's taking too long, what's overwhelming, what's confusing, and you wanna to start to document all this stuff down on paper or in a Google Doc. Because now this starts to give you a good foundation that you can scale over time. And then really the mindset at this stage on the delivery side of things is that you're paying with your time for proof. So you're not getting money in exchange initially, perhaps you are depending on the number of clients you're working with, but you're really paying for proof with your time. So just think about this, like whether a client pays you or not, treat them as they are a five-star client who's paying you premium prices and go above and beyond to deliver amazingness for them. Because when they get results and they share their experience with you as a video testimonial that you can use in your marketing, that is very, very powerful. And it's something you can leverage for years into the future, right? Obviously just ask them permission if you can use it, which is obviously part of the initial agreement of them working with you for free. But that, my friend, right there is a nutshell of a track and birth deliver on that side of the equation where we're looking. If you're less than 5K per month in revenue and you're relatively new, you don't have a huge track record of paying, paying clients, and you don't have the luxury of doing much more than using your time and effort, this, what I just la mapped out, is exactly what I would suggest you start with. I just want to finish with one more thing as it pertains to the attract phase. There is a reason that I recommend using social media as your main hub for sharing content. 
I don't recommend using YouTube. I don't recommend using a podcast. They are amazing platforms, but they will take you three to five years minimum to see any useful traction from. And I share this from personal experience. I built my first YouTube channel. It took 10 years to get 300,000 subscribers. And we didn't see anything for the first several years. Even with the Healthpreneur channel right now, it just takes time, okay? So you don't have the luxury of having your business depend on a platform that takes three, five, or even 10 years to grow. It's the same thing with podcasting. It's an amazing platform, but at this stage of the game, YouTube and podcasting, I would strongly not recommend you spend a lot of time on because no one's gonna see your stuff. Social media, Instagram specifically, I would recommend is gonna give you some degree of visibility, much more so than those main content platforms like YouTube or podcasting, and it allows you to message people based on their interaction with you. So you can think of Instagram as your YouTube channel, right? You can share video content on Instagram. You can share everything you want on Instagram. And for those people that engage with you, you move them into the DMs. And remember, you have that call to action for them to opt into your email list so you can build your email list as you go. Now, the goal here is that we go from where you are to at least 5K per month within a few months, okay? There's no reason this has to take you years if you follow the plan that we have laid out in the social authority selling system. So that is the, the roadmap or the, the path if you're at the zero to 5K per month revenue on a monthly basis. Now, the next step is if you're a little bit further along there, we're gonna talk about what to do next. Okay, so let's talk about the second scenario now. So you're making five to 10K or more per month. You've got track record, you've got experience and, and whether or not you did scenario or path one is, is irrelevant. If you're at the stage of the game where you're generating revenue, you have more money than time. Maybe you're a little bit busy. Maybe you're burnt out working one-on-one -on -one with clients all day long and you still want to scale and you want to help more people then this is what we're gonna do. And it's called the Perfect Client Pipeline, as you can see in the Health Turner way. It's a different strategy than the Social Authority Selling System. So the Social Authority Selling System uses more of your time and your manual effort, because that's the stage at which you kind of have to do that. But now you have a little bit more revenue coming in, you have a little bit more money than time, and you probably wanna have more leverage. You wanna build systems in your business that do more of the heavy lifting for you instead of you doing everything yourself. So the cool part is that a lot of our clients come to us at this stage and they don't really have a big social following. They may not even have done the initial stuff that we talked about in the first part of this training, but they know they wanna help more people, they know they wanna scale, and they just don't have time to play on social media forever. So if that's you and you wanna scale big with more leverage, then this is how we're gonna do it. So this is how we've built Healthpreneur from literally the ground up to more than eight figures. It's four steps. So I'm gonna use my kids' Lego blocks to demonstrate how this works. Let me just kind of give you a bit of context. There can be 10 ways of getting up a mountain. One might be the longest, one might be the prettiest, one might be the most dangerous, but there's only one that's the fastest. And in my years of being in business now for almost 20 years and having done everything from summits to challenges to free plus shipping offers to lead magnet funnels and upsell value ladder like flows, all that kind of stuff, what I have found to be the fastest way to get to helping people people at a high level and getting people to say yes sooner rather than later is through this very process we call the perfect client pipeline. As the name entails, it's built so that it attracts your perfect clients. And I'm going to demonstrate how this works before I dive into the Lego on the iPad. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you want committed clients who are happy to pay you premium prices, three, four, five, six, seven thousand dollars $7,000 to help them get an outcome? Or do you just want tire kickers? Yeah, I thought so, right? You want committed clients. And this is something no one talks about in business is if you want more committed clients, then your marketing needs to reflect that. And I call this the commitment conversion conundrum. And it looks like this, is when you have, we'll put CVR, which is conversion rate on the vertical axis and commitment on the bottom one, when you get people to increase commitments, it lowers conversion rates from your marketing. So let me explain this. If you ask somebody for their first name, last name, email, phone number, mailing address, and their personal information, what's the likelihood that someone's gonna give you that? It's very, very slim. However, what do you think about the people that 
actually do give you that? Well, they're very committed to the outcome. They might have more trust in you or they have more trust in themselves to pursue this process. And so therefore you would have someone on this side of the equation where, or this side of the spectrum that is more committed, right? Well, you've asked for more commitments, fewer people convert, but those people who do, here's the thing, is that they are often better clients. So we'll call this green line, the quality of clients. So even though the conversion rate goes down, the number of people opting in for the thing goes down, the value and the quality of those people is much higher. If you just ask for someone's email and here's a one page cheat sheets, that's where a lot of people live over here, right? Low commitment, high conversions. Mm -hmm. And then what happens with all these leads that come into your email list? They're not committed to the outcome that they want. They're tire kickers, they waste your time, they unsubscribe right away, they don't even open the emails. We don't want that, right? You probably want committed and quality clients, therefore your marketing needs to reflect that. If you want the most, make it easy. If you want the best, make it hard. So with that said, let me walk you through what the perfect client pipeline looks like using these Lego blocks as an example. So we do this with four simple steps. Step number one right here is a process we call predictable prospecting. This, by contrast to phase one, where you were doing manually posting, creating content, all that kind of stuff, this is working for you 24 seven. This we use social media ads for. So we move away from free organic posting and here we start leveraging paid traffic because at the push of a button, you will reach infinitely more people than you most likely would creating content every single day. And I shared this with you because my first business was largely built on content. It took us, a, it took us seven years to make our first million when we started Healthpreneur, it took us seven weeks to make our first million because we were deploying a perfect client pipeline. So we had the power of speed and leverage by saying, publish an ad on Facebook or Instagram. And what that does is it guarantees impressions. When you post something on social media, the challenge is you're not guaranteed visibility. With your advertising, you are guaranteed visibility. You paid 25 bucks a day, you get shown to this many people. You spent $1,000 a day, you get shown to this many people, right? The only difference is that, well, getting impressions and eyeballs is one thing, but converting those people is a different, is a different thing, right? So you're not guaranteed return on ad spend. That's where you have to obviously know what you're doing for the rest of this. And that's why people come to us every single day because we're the best in the world at doing this. So. The first stage is predictable prospecting. We run social media ads, okay? So one ad, two ads, whatever number of ads you want. We recommend starting at $25 a day. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna be shown to whatever, tens of thousands of people, hundreds of thousands of people. So we have a higher pool of people here. From there, we invite people to the next step, which is what we call Teach to Sell. And Teach to Sell is essentially a free training, a webinar, masterclass, however you wanna look at it. And we're getting people from here, a pool of those people, to click on your link on your ad and move into here. So they opt in where they're gonna leave their name and email to watch your masterclass. So naturally there's a decay here, right? Just like I showed you in this previous chart, there's a decay as we get people to commit. More people are here, less people are here because not everyone's gonna opt in and watch the webinar, right? So these people opt in and they watch. Now 30 to 60 minute presentation, is everyone gonna watch this? No, not at all. But the key of this, is if you think of like what we're trying to do here, and I'll turn back to the iPad. When I think of a funnel, I think of it as a little bit of a different F word. So think of it like a filter. So if we have our social media ads, we have a big pool of people. Is everyone gonna respond and resonate with the ads? No, so some people just take off. They don't pay attention, they move on. The next step is we invite some of those people who resonated with the ads to watch the webinar. Is everyone gonna opt in? No. Is everyone gonna watch the full webinar? No. And that's the goal, is that we want the best, therefore we make it a little bit harder. Everyone's pressed for time, everyone's busy, but we somehow find a way to watch Netflix or our favorite movie, right? So don't buy into the belief that people are so busy they can't watch a 60 minute training that potentially give them information that could transform their health or their life. Remember, if it's a must, we make time. If it's not, we make an excuse. So from the webinar, not everyone's gonna watch the full thing, but it doesn't matter. Right? The goal is we only want the committed people to keep moving through. So if we have this many people watching, this many people might get to the end and take the next step. And the next step is what we call ask and assess. And this is essentially an application which 
asks a couple questions about their situation, where they want to go, and it allows us to assess whether they're a fit for you to help them. Again, is everyone going to fill that out? No, right? So once again, we're filtering people out of the pipeline so that you're only more likely to speak to your perfect prospective clients. So the application they fill out, they book, once they've gotten that filled out, they choose a time on your calendar. And this is important because where a lot of health professionals and coaches go wrong is they have, I'll just you know draw this out. If this is your website, there's usually this button up here. And that button says something along the lines of like, book a time, book a free time, book a free discovery call, right? But here's the thing, like, why would you, sorry, I don't know if you can read my writing. Why would you give anyone, the general public, the opportunity to book a time in your calendar? You don't know them. They have maybe no context of what you do. And if you want to talk with tire kickers who have no idea of how you can help them, then by all means do that. But if you only want to be speaking with people who somewhat know, like, and trust you, have already been somewhat pre-indoctrinated and primed and informed with how you do what you do, then a perfect client pipeline makes sense. Because instead of having, like anyone can book calls on a calendar. So if you see all these ads all over the place, I guarantee we'll get you 20 appointments a day. We don't need 20 appointments a day. We need the right appointments on a daily basis. And that's what the perfect client pipeline allows you to do, is by filtering out those people who are not a good fit. So at this stage, in terms of the application and scheduling, you're getting a smaller percentage of people down here, but they've already gone through a couple hoops already. We're starting to increase the quality of these prospective clients. So the final step is once they've booked the time on your calendar, if they meet the criteria that you so choose, and if they book a time, for instance, and they're not a good fit, you cancel the call and just let them know, sorry, like, you know, I don't think this is a good fit based on what you put into the application. It's all good. Now, in the webinar, right, in the, the reason we call it Teach to Sell is because the goal is to teach to sell. It's not just to give away how-to information, right? It's about sharing the what and the why, less about the how. It's about showing know-how with no how. And it's about helping people see the topic at hand that you help them with in a different light. It's about breaking beliefs that they might have, installing new ones that get them to think about the situation differently, or it confirms some of their suspicions. Like, oh my God, that's what I've been thinking about. Thank you for, for confirming that, and I believe this to be true. So this webinar is the only piece of content. This is the only piece of content your business needs at this stage of the game to go from five or 10,000 a month to more than a million dollars in revenue. And I share this because this is exactly what we've done. We've helped many clients do that. Some have gone to multiple six figures just with this. So the power of this is that it's a system. It's an asset that works. Autopilot, this works for you 24 seven. Webinar, you record it once, it works for you 24 seven. Application and scheduler, you set it up once, it's working for you 24 seven. These three pieces of the four step pipeline work independent of your effort. Once they are set up, you build the machine and the machine builds the business. How does that sound? Would that be pretty good? So what do you do next? From the application, for those people who schedule a call, the final step is right here. And we call this coach to close. And this is essentially a discovery call, an enrollment conversation, whatever you want to think of it as. So again, is everyone going to say yes to working with you? No. Are you going to say yes to working with everyone? No. Right. But you know, on, in general, if you're getting in the neighborhood of 25 to 30% of people on the phone who say yes to working with you and you're charging, let's call it $3,000 for a coaching program, you will crush it. Right. And I share this and I'll just break down some numbers with you in a second, but this is how we help our clients win. And it, it helps them scale their business while working about half as many hours and without having to do all the grinds that you may have had to in phase one where you had no revenue. So if we look at the decay here, this is gonna happen in any type of funnel. It doesn't matter, right? But the key here is the people who end up at the end here, they have jumped through a couple hoops, right? When we're talking about social media ads, I'm not talking about one sentence and a link. We're talking about something that's a little more involved. There's more story, there's more connection, there's more trust and rapport built. And this sets the tone for everything else that flows. I have clients that sometimes like, hey, I'm not getting enough calls booked for my pipeline. I'm like, cool, let's look at your ads because that's where everything starts. All the problems downstream, start upstream. It's usually a messaging problem or a targeting problem. That's usually where most of the issues start. 
And this is what we help our clients with every single day, how to perfect each single one of these steps so that when you do speak to people on the phone at the end, it's not a selling conversation, it's a coaching conversation. It's about having an honest conversation where we can speak our truth, hopefully the prospect is honest with you, having the skill, the capability of moving someone across the line. So if you if you deal with stuff like it's too expensive, I need to think about it, I need to talk to my spouse, I need to pray on it, have you ever heard of those? Now, wouldn't it be useful if you knew exactly how to handle those and if you knew exactly how to lead these calls? Because this is the most useful and valuable piece of your time. Until you're doing about $750,000 per year in revenue, the most important thing you can do with your time is sales. And let me show you why. Okay, so let's look at what the math looks like here. So let's say that you're spending $25 a day. That's gonna be about $750 a month. It's the best money you're ever gonna spend and here's why. So on average, um, you'll see a cost per lead with this type of funnel in the neighborhood of $5-ish. And obviously like it depends on your messaging, depends on a couple factors, but let's call it CPL equals $5, $5 per lead. Therefore on a monthly basis, we are generating, what is that? 750 divided by five. Um, I'm gonna call that 125 leads. I might be wrong on that, so I apologize. It's either 125 or 150, but I think it's 125. Okay, from there, so these are leads that are coming into the webinar, okay? So 125 people have opted in to watch the webinar. From the webinar, typically what's gonna happen is you'll see about on 125 leads, we'll call it about three calls booked. And from those three, if you enroll one out of three who say yes, that's about a 33% a 30 33% close rate. So what does that what does that mean to you? If you enroll one client at three thousand dollars and you spent so you made three thousand minus seven fifty, you are positive twenty two fifty, right? That's profit. So when people say like I need a budget to run ads, you don't really need a budget because what happens here is that this money gets put right back into the system. You reinvest the money or as much of it as you want back into advertising because every single client you enroll pays for the next client you enroll. And so you don't need a budget, you just need a credit card. Because what's the worst case scenario? You run some ads, 750 bucks, Worst case scenario, you don't enroll one client in a month. You have $750 sitting in your credit card. Even if you paid 20% interest on that, a couple hundred bucks, who cares? In the grand scheme of things, you gotta think bigger. If you wanna enroll a lot of clients and make a lot of money, a couple hundred bucks in interest, worst case scenario is nothing. And I share this because I've spent a lot of money on interest by making some dumb decisions in the past, but also if I hadn't made those investments, I'm not talking about this, I'm talking about like stuff way back in the day. If I hadn't made those decisions and investments, I wouldn't be where I am today. Now, obviously with where we are today, we spend six figures a month profitably every single month. Do I have a briefcase of cash? Been like, okay, here's $300,000 in cash, throw it into the ads. No, what I do have is predictability. I know that if we spend this amount of money, we'll generally get this cost per lead and these number of leads will convert to this many calls. Therefore, our cost per call booked will be about this. And we know based on our conversion rate, we'll enroll this number of clients who pay us this amount of money. Therefore, we will have this return on ad spend. It's a beautiful place to be when you have that type of predictability, isn't it? It's a lot nicer than having to live in the content grind of throwing a bunch of stuff up against the wall and hoping that something will work because you can't replicate it. As an example, a little while ago, I had a video that we posted on TikTok that went, viral in the first three days with 390,000 views in three days. Now, did that make a big difference for our business? It made zero impact on our business. So then when we said, okay, let's put it on Instagram. How did that video do on Instagram? Uh, it didn't do well at all. It flopped. So like, what's the learning there? Like, how am I supposed to take that and predictably grow the business? Like, oh, I think that works. Let's maybe do it again. I don't know if it's going to work over here. There's no rhyme or reason to the content game. It's just a volume play and a lot of time. And that's fine to start with. And it's fine to continue doing if you wanna scale and build your brand. You know, we wanna build a billion dollar business that impacts a billion lives. So yes, content for us at this stage of the game is important, but the vast majority of our revenue comes from what I'm showing you right here. And the ability to have a system that works for you frees up your time to be able to create more content if you want to. So I spent the first three years in Healthpreneur with nothing other than our perfect client pipeline. So I actually didn't even do the stuff I suggested to you initially. I'm like, screw it. I'm gonna go right to phase two because I had 13 years experience and I, I said, okay, I think I have enough knowledge and skill 
to go right into paid traffic. And I, for me, it, you know, it worked because I had that experience. But for a lot of people, you know, if you're starting at zero and you don't have any experience and you don't have any cash, again, you gotta, you gotta put in your time. But once you're at that 5K to 10K a month range, you wanna start considering paid traffic and using this type of system because this is ultimate freedom. You know, a lot of what I do now with my time is, you know, I'm seeing build and coach my team, work with our clients. And I create a lot of content because I love spreading the message. But the cool thing is that I'm able to do that without requiring the content tend to do anything for our business in the near future. So now we have a YouTube channel, which I love, and I don't expect anything from it because I don't need anything from it. So we're able to just put out amazing content. And if, if it builds the brand and it puts out a lot of goodwill, which it does, in time, it will become a major asset for our business. But I can do that because I have this really nice foundation that right now, even as I'm sharing this with you here, it is working 24 seven on autopilot. So this is what we help our clients do to move from where they are to you know scaling big time. So if you're coming in at five-ish K, 10K per month, this is the system we would have you implement in your business and we would work with you every step of the way until it's perfected. And honestly, if you're just starting out, the social authority selling system, which I talked about earlier, is what I would recommend unless you're coming into the briefcase of cash and you're like, hey, I got to spend this money somehow, in which case, sure, go for this. But most cases, people are not in a scenario. So you have to use your efforts and your time when you lack the money. When you have a bit more money and a little bit less time, you can start to play smarter and you can start to build systems that work largely on autopilot for you. The final piece that I wanna talk about if we refer back to the health printer way, we talked about the attract, we talked about the convert here and the delivery piece we call a dream come true system. In the first path, a lot of the recommendation was around just work with clients one-on-one -on -one to build your momentum, build your confidence in delivery. At this stage of the game, you probably feel more confident in your delivery. You know you can help clients. And this, at this opportunity, like you have an opportunity now to shift from one-on-one -on -one into more of a group model that we call the dream come true system. So the dream come true system looks like this. There are three components to it. At the base is curriculum. And it's important to have a curriculum because if you don't have a curriculum, then everything that your clients do is dependent upon you and your time. So client sees you, they get helped. If they don't see you, they don't know what to do, right? So having a curriculum requires a single target market. And that's super important from a marketing perspective because you can't talk to all these people if you're talking about different things all the time. This, this is a single pillar not like several different target markets. This is one single target market, like new moms who wanna lose weight, women who are going through menopause, like whatever that is, because the marketing has to be streamlined. The message needs to speak to one specific person. Let me ask you a question. Would you rather work with a generalist or a specialist? I thought so. Everyone wants to work with a specialist. So in order to have a curriculum for one single target market, not only is the messaging on the marketing front more streamlined, but it actually allows you to build a curriculum because now you're not having to build 10 different curriculums for 10 different conditions. It's just one group of people. So therefore the majority of them follow the same process. The curriculum provides a tremendous amount of leverage for you so that when you're away for a week, you don't have to be with your clients. They can still move through the process. The second stage is community. As you work with more clients, you can bring them together in a community of like-minded people who are supporting each other toward a common destination. So right now in our HBA program, we have hundreds of clients, an amazing community. They actually kind of get together in person if they're in you know similar local areas. It's really, really cool to see how all that comes together. And we know that people in isolation typically don't feel that great. We know that isolation kills and community heals. Community is a big, big component to the success of your business over time. People will come for the content or the curriculum, but they will stay for the community. And then the final piece is the coaching, is you and your time coming in to provide the expertise, the guidance, the nuances. But notice how it's the smallest piece of this. So these are the three C's that make up the dream come true system. The dream come true system is the system through which you deliver results that are dream come true to your clients. It's the leveraged group coaching program that allows you to work with one to many clients at the same time. As an example, one of our clients, Claire, is a physiotherapist in Scotland. She was recently away on a one week holiday in France and her clients, while she was away, were going through her curriculum and she specialized in helping um, osteoarthritis of the knee. So that's, that's her specialty. So while she was away, her clients were able to go through the curriculum and they were still able to see progress. They were still supporting each other while she wasn't present with them. And then she took a whopping one hour of her vacation. Would that be okay if you took an hour out of a week-long vacation to provide a coaching call? 
She had 17 clients on that call in one hour. And she provided the support, accountability, everything. She touched base with them and helped them move forward. By contrast, before she had all this built out in her online coaching business, she had an in-practice brick and mortar clinic. And for her to see 17 patients would take her two days of full-time work. And so this is the power of this, is it provides better results for your clients. It provides way more leverage for you and it allows you to have more time and location freedom. Does that make sense? So, so there we go. So I hope this video has given you some more clarity, some more guidance to help you based on where you are and where you wanna go. Again, if you're in scenario number one, where you're making less than 5K per month, you gotta follow the social authority selling system. You gotta use your time and manual effort to add value, build content, create conversations that will eventually lead to clients. Once you hit that five to 10K per month range, then you have a little bit more margin to start investing in paid acquisition so you have more scale faster and a lot more leverage. So instead of trading time for money forever, we move away from trading time and effort to trading money to buy back more of your time. And remember this whole process, as you move into phase two with the perfect client pipeline, you're building an email list rapidly. And that email list becomes a major, major asset for your business in the long run. So hopefully you found this video useful. It's giving you a bit more of a roadmap to, to follow based on where you're at. And again, if you'd like our help to take things to the next level, work with me and my team personally to work with you, to coach you, to give you that guidance and our proven roadmaps and systems, to get you to the next level, then click the link with the button below, fill out the application, and let's see if we can help you out. Thanks again, and we look forward to serving you. And I knew I needed to take it to the next level. And, you know, that's when I began the search of trying to find someone to do that and came across Yuri. So it was about, um, you know, I, I had the funnels, I had the program, I had the, you know, the Facebook ads dialed in. It was a, like, how do I get from that 20K point to that next jumping point, that's what I was looking for. And now uh, we're 18 months into the month and we're already at like um, 85K. The money that I spent in working with Yuri and my past mentor and, you know, best money that I've ever spent, better than anything I've spent in my whole entire career. And I will do it over and over and over again. So uh, it's a no brainer. Before I joined HBA, I was, and I still am, running a practice that's a general family practice for uh, for naturopathic medicine. And when COVID hit, uh, I had a huge dive in my business. In fact, probably a lot of people around the world, and I knew I needed to find somebody that who could pave that. And Yuri for sure was. I knew he was the answer. I knew the HBA team was the answer. And so I decided to take a leap of faith because I knew it was an investment I had to make. Six months into it, my business scaled four times than what it was previously. Within just six months, yeah, I was able to bring more than $25,000 within one month. And with the HBA program and with Yuri's guidance, I'm able to really target people with ADHD and help more people with ADHD. I totally highly recommend HBA and Yuri because there's nothing more I else can say. I feel like it has definitely been the best investment that I have made for my business. So I've been in practice about 15 years doing only one-on-one -on -one coaching. And what I found is that I loved my job, but it was just that, it was a job. And I always wanted to scale, meaning reach more people. It'd be bigger than just me and build a team, but you cannot do that on a one-to-one -one model. Honestly, when I came across HBA, it was like all the pieces were there together for me. Even the tech build out was there. And I thought, honestly, like all the excuses were removed from me why I can't do this now and scale. And um, it just made sense. So I went ahead and took the leap. So I have pretty much predictable income revenue every month now, depending on how much I want to scale up my ads. Women are gonna be certified in my sugar freedom method. So now I have a movement. I mean, it's not even consistent revenue. Now now Jen Eden has a movement. HBA is the best thing that ever happened to me in my business as well as in my personal life. It is not just about growing a business, it's about growing yourself. And when you're surrounded by other people who are also like-minded, um, HBA is growing yourself to grow your business. When COVID hit, I decided to take my practice virtually and 
Man, I worked 18 hours a day, never saw my family, missed so much of my son's wrestling practices. And so going virtually scared me. I didn't know anything about advertising. I didn't know anything about sales. I didn't know anything about copywriting. Technology was not my friend on a good day. But with Yuri Alkame and his team, it, you know, it, it necessarily wasn't easy, but I was supported, right? And so I went from having a practice that was sinking me financially as well as spiritually. Now I am home most of the time with my family and I still help babies and moms and it's just amazing. I never got to do all those things before. If that is um, what you're looking for and you're willing to put in the work and grind and get it done to make your life better, then uh, you're not going to find a better team than Yuri Alkame's HBA group. Thank you HBA for taking me from a sinking ship to a thriving ship. Uh, when we started uh, with Health Neuro, well, we've just been a brick and mortar business. Um, and we do chiropractic, uh, weight loss, uh, health, health prevention and uh, health renewal programs using uh, different types of homeopathy, uh, nutraceuticals, things like that. We, we have a very successful seven-figure practice. We, we were doing great. Then coronavirus shutdown started. One of our biggest frustrations with that wasn't just the shutdown itself, but reduced pace of visits. The, the biggest reason we chose uh, to go with Health Manure is because um, Yuri's track record in their group, they help professionals you know, get the results uh, that they need. The email campaigns alone that were part of this whole process have been uh, tremendous. And those email campaigns alone have spurred a revenue increase for us almost four times what we paid to get into the healthpreneur group. I, I've never seen this level of, of skill and uh, knowledge. And teamwork. And teamwork. Yeah, it's just, I've never seen it. The main problem I wanted to solve when I joined Healthpreneur is that I wanted to give people with migraine a super effective evidence-based way to deal with all of the things that they can do to improve their migraines outside of prescription medications because that really doesn't exist and I see so many people wasting their time and money on things that just aren't going to work. So I wanted to really steer people towards something that will work. Um, my only real hesitation about doing the program was uh, money honestly, but I've already made back my investment. So yay, I've had uh, like a dozen people go through the course and I love, love, love this work. I really feel like it um, improves people's lives and gives a lot of meaning. I also like having a little bit of location flexibility for at least part of my job. You know, running an online course gives you that. So I would absolutely recommend it. Just do it. Just do it. Take the plunge. It's awesome. Um, and so I've been looking for something that will enable me to make more money and spend less time um, doing it. I saw Yuri's ad on Facebook and I don't click on ads but something just drew me there. He mentioned making more money and not having to spend hours and hours on social media and in all the traditional ways. And then it took me to his webinar which I don't watch webinars. I don't, if something is more than three minutes I'm not interested in. I think it was an hour and ten minutes long. I watched it twice. The biggest thing was that he talked about not just being okay but that it's kind of your duty to charge more when you're offering something of value because it not only motivates the client but it also motivates you to deliver something really really good for them this is the best best thing I've ever done with my money by far it's the best coaching program it's just phenomenal the support that they give Yuri's team is incredible they're just incredible there's so much support the HBA program is phenomenal. I'm Benita Ackerman Dupree and I am a director at the Trauma Recovery Method. Uh, we help people recover from trauma and PTSD. And I'm Claire Ackerman Dupree. I'm also one of the directors of the Trauma Recovery School Limited. We were based in the UK. The business modeling uh, before HPI was very much it's your typical one-to-one -one or face-to-face or -face business. We were really struggling to take the business more online, uh, create more of an online presence. I wanted to work online more in, in particular after COVID. We had very little flexibility in what we could do day to day. It, it was just taking its toll, really. Our first sale was in March 2023. So after the last four months, we are now closing gross around $43,000. Healthpreneur has your back. Don't be afraid of taking risks. You have to be able to invest and, and have that investor mindset to actually reach your potential. Before I joined uh, HBA program, I was struggling with automation and systems. I was getting fairly good results in terms of getting, generating leads. Um, conversions weren't 
were mediocre, but it was like an up and down curve. I was getting some months were really good, some months were really bad. There was no consistency. I had no hesitation to join the program because I heard Yuvi speak at Clubhouse two to three times and what struck me was his sincere um, core foundation to give advice, help people, add massive value. And what I found from the HBA program is, yeah, you give value, but you do it in a different way. I've only been in the program two months. In the first month, we hit um, $86,000. So $86,000 in the first month, which is more, way more than I've done in any year. As you can imagine, I have no hesitation recommending HBA for you to scale up your business, but make it more automated, work less hours, and make more money. My name is Russell Beebe, certified sex addiction therapist and a therapist and coach. And I help men struggling with sex and or porn addiction. So what my business model looked like before joining HBA, I had a waiting list and I had to start saying to people, I can work with you, but you, we can't start working together till February. You know what I mean? So people were going on a waiting list. And if you're somebody that's struggling with this issue, it's not like something that you just want to, you, you can wait a month and a half to get help for. You want help right away. So that was a big problem. So I've now enrolled nine clients for the month at $3,800. I reached a milestone of, of getting over $30,000 a month, which is kind of a goal of mine. So very grateful that I'm part of this community. My business has exploded since I started. The worst thing you can do is not humble yourself about your limitations and not seek out the help that you need to get to where you really want to go. My name is Mariah Fujimagiri. I am a certified sports nutritionist. My name is Joshua Fujimagiri. I'm also a certified sports nutritionist, co-founder of Young Elite Athletes. We help young hockey players and their families develop better health habits and more performance on the ice. Some of the measurable results that we've seen since working with HBA is that we've enrolled over 40 new clients, averaging over $2,000 per client within our six-month coaching program, which is generated almost $100,000 in revenue for our business. Before HBA, we really just had an idea and a back of the napkin drawing of our logo. And we struggled with conceptualizing like how to create an online business from scratch. I suggest for you to just jump all in, really be able to fight the nerves and just turn that into excitement and be able to join Healthpreneur because once we did, it absolutely transformed our lives and our businesses forever for the best. My name is Karen Dwyer and I am the MS coach and the type of problems I help my clients solve is bringing all of the work that they are doing, whether it's trying to change their diet, go to physio and improve mobility, trying to manage stress and emotion. I bring that all into one concrete brain health blueprint. In the last five or six weeks, I've made over 25,000 euros and I've enrolled clients from USA, Canada, Belgium, UK. So before joining HPA, my business model was doing live webinars, meditation challenges within a Facebook group. My business relied on word of mouth, but it meant that my income was inconsistent and it meant that I was constantly worried too. And I've done so many business accelerators and coaching and I have never come across anything that gives so much value and support and precedence, like actual results from people that are past that you can lean into too. So just do it. It's the best place I've ever come to. I'm Wendy. Yellen. I work with Authentic Fulfillment Acceleration, and I work with women, professional women who have success on the outside. They look pretty good to others, but inside they don't feel authentic. They don't feel like they're living their real life and they feel very hemmed in and it's not okay for them. The problem was I had absolutely nothing that would be consistent. And that plagued me for decades. I think in late April, we opened the pipeline, something like that. And in about 10 days, clients started coming in. And within the first 30 days, I made $25,000 just from HBA. I have been working with top business coaches for decades. And even these really exceptional coaches, nobody put together the logical steps with the templates to keep moving me forward. It is absolutely extraordinary. I'm a holistic weight loss coach and certified personal trainer, and I help women who need to lose substantial weight, 50 to 100 pounds. 
Before HBA, we took on everybody. That made for a lot of customization, a lot of busy work. We weren't really able to help people see real success because that's hard when your market is so broad. So we niched all the way down. And now we just help women with that more substantive weight loss problem. And that's just helped our clients see so much more success. We launched in May. And since then, we signed on 20 clients. Last month was our highest revenue generating month. We made $50,000. It was a big milestone for us. Don't be afraid to play big and to step into your bigness because then once you just finally say yes and take a chance on yourself, then the whole path is so laid out for you. Everything down to a T, down to how you write your own copy. It's everything so prescribed that all you have to do is just say yes to yourself. And then the rest is just, it's beautiful history. My name is Trisha Thompson. I am an osteopathic physician and I do functional and integrative medicine, helping my patients get to the root cause of what their underlying condition is so that they can begin to reverse it. At the moment, my last several months have been in the 25 to 30,000 range, um, bringing in about 10 new clients a month. It's definitely struggling with how to bring in clients. I live in a fairly small area. I didn't feel there was a big enough uh, market, I guess, for what I was doing. So with HBA, I've been able to move to Facebook advertising and expand that market in a much bigger way. And you're looking at this because what you're doing isn't working. So I was an emergency physician and had practiced emergency medicine for 20 years, but had already retrained in integrated and functional medicine. I just didn't know how to put myself out there. Um, and I just knew there was a time when I wasn't going to be able, willing, wanting, desirous to go back to the ER at all. And I really wanted that freedom to be able to work from wherever I wanted to work from, to be remote at least some of the time. And HBA gave me that opportunity. My name is Dr. Jessica Warnicke, and I'm an orthopedic and pelvic floor physical therapist. I help active women that have been dealing with chronic hip pain with exercise get out of pain prior to HBA. So I have a brick and mortar clinic. So I was still working in that. I had a couple of other therapists and staff. And so I felt like I was just scattered, doing well overall, but just felt stressed very busy. A lot of unpredictable things happened. So I was to a place where I was like honestly feeling burnt out, even though I loved what I was doing with patient care. While starting HBA, while transitioning from my clinic, while creating this online thing, I was also planning a wedding. The day before I took off for my wedding, I made over $6,000 in two hours of work just having calls. And I remember that was the day where I was like, oh my gosh, my hourly value has never been this good. And I've never had so much fun just like talking to women, welcoming them into my program. And the next three weeks, I made over $22,000 off of less than $2,000 ad spend. So there you have it. I hope you've enjoyed this training. We've got the two pathways, the health runner way, right? Social authority, selling system, perfect client pipeline, depending where you're at. And listen, if you've enjoyed this and you'd like to take the next step to get where you want to go even faster, then we've got a couple options. Number one is you can kind of try to figure this stuff out on your own, which is fine. It'll just take you a lot longer. Path number two is to take the next step, which is to click the link below this video, or there might be a button, and to uh, basically schedule in a call to speak with us, right? To see if if what you're looking to do is a good fit with what we do best. And obviously, we'll just ask you a couple questions even before that phone conversation to assess like where like where you are and, and which path is going to make the most sense for you. And then basically, we can make the best recommendation for what the next step would be for your situation. So if you're an expert, if you have a, a big drive for for one, it's do great things with your business online. You've got confidence in yourself. Um, again, if you're starting out, that's fine. If you're a little bit further along, that's that's fine as well. But you know, we typically don't work with people who you know just want to cover the bills. You know, want to do a little side hustle. Like this is something. Like if you really want to turn your expertise and magic into a great business, and depending on where you are, you want that support either step of the way, then just click the link or the button below this video. Take the next step. Answer a few questions, and if it makes sense, we'll schedule in a call. And if not, we'll obviously direct you in the right direction as well. So thank you once again for your time. I appreciate you taking the time. It says a lot about who you are and your commitment to growth and excellence. And we look forward to supporting you in whichever way we can. Thanks so much.